Hey, welcome back to Roley's Bench. This is Rowan, and I'm not dead. Neither am I a victim of a crime scene. Actually, the last couple of months, I've been very busy with a lot of, yeah, recovery and family plans and whatnot, and a lot of videos coming up. And to start it all off, we are going to introduce Today we're going to be working through the original 1.0 and 1.5, a few upgrades that have came along the way. Some of them have been working on the forum now for a few months or longer. They're simple things, just wanted to show you some things I came up with. Let's get started. So today we'll be talking about what's the best lens to use. I did a lot of testing, got some results on that. Also a simple little rubber eyepiece to block extra light. The new 5 inch HD monitor that's been out for a little while I've discussed before and a new mount that we're going to make. Also a simple uh, sun shield and also the little brother to the EJ230 which is the E700 and a simple way to mount that in to the 1.5 Okay, let's start with the monitor mount for the 5 inch HD monitor. We got quarter 20 threaded rod, lock nut, square nut, UTG 45 quick release, a drill and a quarter 20 tap, and the mount that came with the monitor. We're going to lock this mount down, and the way this comes apart is that just pops off. Put that to the side and here's this ball that we're after. And because this is plastic, now we're going to do a simple castration of the mount. Okay, so I bet you never thought you'd see a castration on Rolaids bench. But hey, what we needed is that this one ball tapped. And believe me, it was painless. We're going to end up threading this ball on the end of the quarter 20. So, let's finish the assembly. Okay, so I've got a three inch piece of quarter 20. And I'll get out my tactical black. Okay, now that I've got some black put on there, I'm going to slide in that square nut down inside and thread this threaded rod in there until that's secure. Then we'll slide on the washer and the locking nut. Now, you could blacken this whole thread if you would like, but I've got another little trick. Heat shrink tube. But first, we got to put a bend here. So we take a pair of pliers. and you want a bend of not quite 45 degrees. Well, that's going to screw on there. Now take a little bit of super glue. And dab it on the thread. Sometimes I put just a little bit down inside here. Now, you just slip the ring over there. Pop this on. 
if you want to, you can also apply super glue right here and make sure that that mount stays in firm. All right, and now we have a monitor that can swivel a good bit of range. And it looks nice too. Now let's talk about the simple boot. This you can buy online and it will fit on most scopes. And make a simple way to block any light that may come and reflect in on the lens. Sometimes when you're hunting in an area where there's some outside lights or you're close up and you got some IR reflecting back, you may get a little reflection back in on your lens. The part comes to you like this and I take a pair of scissors and just go around and there. And now you still have access to the lens to adjust and you have a shade. All right, next I want to talk about lenses. Try to make this quick. Um, two things about the lens that you're using on the camera on an add-on rig, which is a night vision rig you're putting on behind the scope. The first thing is, is that lens that's on the camera has a rating called f-stop. Most of you are probably familiar with that in, in terms. So we're going to talk about the lens to use and the f-stop. Now, if you get a KTNC, KTNC stock 12 millimeter is an F2.0. What does that mean? Look it up online if you want to know more about F stops. I'm just going to show you a little bit of how it makes a difference on the amount of light that it gathers at the lens after your scope. You can buy from M12 lenses a 12 or 16 millimeter. It's an F1.8. And there's an eBay lens, 12 or 16 millimeter. It's an F1.8. Six. Scratch that. I'm sorry, it's F1.4. So what does all this mean right here? Well, it simply means this. Enjoy my crude artwork. So I have light coming into the scope. That scope is going to reduce the light that the camera sees back here. The scope is going to reduce the light by quite a bit. Now one thing you can do naturally is put a big IR light up here and blast a bunch out. so that you get enough back in. And most of the time that's what people do. You can get some decent IR lights, which I will finally be doing a video very soon on, that can easily show 300, 400 yards. But still I had to ask, what's the best lens to use on the camera? I did a bunch of tests. So what's my top pick? It's the eBay F1.4. It's also a little larger lens. We're going to go look at that in a little bit. But when I did the math and I did all the calculations and I compared white light 850 IR and 940 IR to see how every lens compared, 
and I used some other setups that I won't even describe now. I was seeing somewhere between three quarters and one and a half f stops. Now, what does that mean? Well, every f stop equals two times light. So the light that was getting through here and into the camera, this difference right here is what I was measuring. And I was seeing around 1.5 to 3 times light improvement. There. Hope you can make sense of my scratches. Now the next lens item. A common question, 12 millimeter or 16 millimeter lens on the camera. All that is going to make a difference is when you look at the picture on your screen. Are them the same sizes? So here's the difference it makes. When you use a 12 millimeter lens, which does come stock with the camera and saves you a little bit of money you will see roughly the whole reticle view or the eye what you normally would see with your eye in the scope some people like that idea if you buy a 16 millimeter lens it's going to zoom in and you may see you may see a little bit in the corners of the display but in general you are now going to see a completely full field of view. Again, it's a personal preference. I started using 12 millimeters a year ago when I first started making these videos, and I've probably switched to the 16 by now. They both work, but when I'm using an add-on setup, like the Rolades NV 1.0 1.5, I tend to use the 16 millimeter more now. And here's the difference in size between the eBay, that's the 1.4, and the 12 or the 16 millimeter that you can get. Now naturally this, the cap for the EJ, will fit over. And this one you can see the cap's not going to fit on. But this is what I usually use right here. Alright, now as we finish up the updates for the 1.0, of course we've talked about lens, we've got a boot to take care of any glare, we've got a new monitor mount set up, and we have a sun shield by Pro-Am. For all those that want to reduce the glare from the monitor, um, you also can use a red filter or car tint if you want to cut down some of the light from the screen also. Of course you've got your adjustments here on the side to adjust brightness and contrast. So let's look at the couple updates for the 1.5. Okay, the main difference on the 1.5 version, which is simply the ability to put your camera in a tube setup so there is no rail here. Now, that, now before I had shown where you can take some PVC fittings, EJ230, and a little bit of tape and pop that in. Now if you want to go a little more compact, the E700, which is identical CCD, it's the brother to that, will fit in there. And I will show you how. So I've got a PVC fitting here that I have cut a reducer that will fit into there. And then I have a little piece of half inch pipe, half inch PVC pipe fits over this tapered shaft. If you can see there, there's a little bit of taper to that shaft. It fits right on there like that. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of hot glue because I can always take this off later if I need to. So there. Now a little bit of black. 
there you are. Compact setup. All right, and for comparison, there's your size difference of savings. There's not a lot of difference in weight, but you make it a little bit more compact. That's all, folks. Hey, see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.